Well, this is it. Is everybody ready? I'm listening to my Sirius XM radio and they're playing Sergeant Pepper. And I'm all anxious to get the uh, 50th anniversary edition of Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Hope the mailman is on time. Hope I get my package. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. So this is an exciting time for everybody that's into the Beatles. And uh, let's just hope that uh, we have a good time, splendid time, guaranteed for all. And here's our friendly store owner. And uh, here so we are. Over here, whenever you're uh, around, I'm going to call the store at 631. Okay, I see we got it, Mark. So uh, you sold out already of the big box, the huh? The big boxes went this morning, but we still have a lot of uh, the vinyl sets and a bunch of the CD sets. You got the regular, two, right, regular, two CD, deluxe. Two CD and the regular CD. Yeah, right? and the uh, and the LP. The LP is really cool. It's a two LP. They come with those psych sleeves that they originally came yeah. with. Uh, we were listening to the deluxe set yesterday. Really, really nice sound. All right. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward yeah. to digging in. Yeah. Here I go. You got it. <laughs> have fun. There it is, the vinyl, and also the two CD edition. I just hope the box set arrives in the mail. Okay, so it turns out that I'm waiting here for the delivery man to deliver my deluxe set, six CD set, a little pepper release. And I went on the street and I looked for my mailman. He told me he didn't have it, which means that it's got to be UPS who's delivering it. And it hasn't gotten here yet this morning. Uh, it's about a little after 12 noon. It could go anywhere till 8 o'clock tonight by the time I get that. So I thought what I would do is go ahead and make this video at least showing, if nothing else, the vinyl and the two CD set. Because I'm excited and I'm anxious to get the day going. So uh, I already opened this up. Listen to it in the car. This is the two CD set of the new 50th anniversary Sgt. Pepper. And... It, you know, it comes in this outer box, and uh, you have to go inside to get the main album out. Comes with a book. Of course, an alternate cover shot that wasn't used. I am guessing that I'll save a lot of these pictures. I'll just flip by them, but a lot of these pictures are probably going to be in the bigger book. Which you're going to get with the six CD set. So I'm going to kind of just wait for that to really show the bigger book off. Um, as I'm showing this, I want to talk a little bit about, by the way, here's what the two discs look like. you got the yellow parlor foam. Also, on the, the two CD set, of course, the second disc consists of outtakes, rarities, uh, run-throughs, rehearsals, uh, versions that even the most diehard Beatle maniacs haven't even gotten in the underground market on bootlegs or anything like that. I mean, this is stuff that the uh, first time anybody's hearing it. So it's not just common things that you've already heard, although some of it is stuff we're familiar with before. So it's a mix of stuff all in one place, all in one location. Of uh, rarities that uh, bits that we've heard and stuff that we've never heard all concise and together for this 50th anniversary which I think is great as I talk about this a little bit I've already listened to the CD I got as far as when I'm 64 and uh, there's already talk going on you could see it on various uh, sites message boards Beatles forums where people are upset with the fact that apparently for the CD uh, release of this, it's been done. I don't know, I'm not an audiophile, so I don't really know all the technical details, but it's been done at a number 8 DR, which is dynamic range, and that means that it's really loud, and uh, supposedly the, low, the, the lower number means the louder it is, from what I understand. And uh, I can attest to that, that... Uh, it was very, very loud. Everything was loud in a one kind of one compression. I've also been hearing people complaining that, oh, it's too compressed and, uh, you know, the sound is uh, not that good and they're kind of disappointed. There's even been people canceling their orders for the CDs. Um, it's a little too early for me to go into that yet. Uh, I'm so far been 
been very happy with what I heard up till the song when I'm 64. There's uh, always going to be room for, for more critique. And I'm not going to do a full like review until later on, until I really drunk it all in. Okay, But what I have heard is that uh, on these same discussions, supposedly on the vinyl edition, which is kind of unusual, the, uh, that it, the sound is supposedly better on this as far as this compression goes. I mean, I don't know. They talk about compression. They talk about DR, dynamic range. They talk about the loudness wars and all this kind of stuff. And supposedly, in this case, the vinyl is better. Now, I'm going to do an opening of this because, uh, you know, I don't know. Although I, although I like to keep some things sealed, I do intend on playing this. And, you know, for the fun of the anniversary and the video and all, and I use my X-Acto knife. I thought it'd be nice to have an opening here, sealed to revealed. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And yeah, I am going to take the shrink off of this particular release. I will save the hype sticker. And uh, while I'm stalling here for time, just let me say that, yeah, when I get that deluxe set it package from UPS I will definitely be uh, featuring a video where I open that and peruse it a little bit so uh, keep on the, the watch for that if you're interested I know everybody's making videos so there's plenty of places on the internet where you can already see openings if you're interested but anyway so there it is beautiful cover a nice shiny cover and there's the spine when you look at it, you know, the, the lettering is kind of upside down, backwards, as you have it on the shelf. We open it up and we get really spiffy looking, nice shiny copy of the original picture. And um, there we go go uh, looks like Paul McCartney has done some kind of notation for it which is nice it's signed the bottom the back has that famous shot that was in some magazines you might have seen it's who's who and who's who and Sergeant Pepper's Bear they have all the spaces there with numbers on them and then all the people are numbered all the actors or performers, all the people that the Beatles put on the cover are all identified for those who may not have, not have known any of them or all of them, uh, some of them. There's quotes here from George Martin. There's quotes here from Giles Martin, his son, who did the remastering on here. And this is all the kind of about the sessions and tells you all about recordings themselves. So that's the first thing I find in here. I know it's going to be a little slow going here making the videos, but then you have the reproduction of all the little surprises you got in the original album. Mustache, badges, etc. A copy of the original inner sleeve the facsimile of the original of the sleeve with the psychedelia look on it. But that's just put in there as a bonus because the records themselves actually come in these. Which nicely they're they're lined in plastic. There's got it's the plastic uh, inner sleeve. It's lined with the plastic, so that's good. There it is. I'm guessing 180 gram vinyl. And this is the actual album, the record album. Which, oops, I forgot that I put this on the side here. Yeah, and the second disc is going to be the, uh, the outtakes, which, as of this time, I haven't really heard anything on the outtakes in full, I don't think, but I have heard some of these. There was a... Uh, one forum that uh, actually had 30 second clips of the whole of the whole uh, album and a lot of the outtakes and 
I was able to listen to some 30 second samplings and uh, that's it for now it's just a quick video just to give you a look at what you can expect from the vinyl and the two CD set as I say as soon as I get a hold of that six CD package I'll be happy to show that um, as far as my first impressions go yeah it's, I had it in the car I played the CD in the car uh, it's, it's easier for me to play at a, at, a, at a good loud volume in the car and I gotta say it is very loud I've heard a lot of things I never heard before um, and some things that are somehow quieted it's funny how that is you hear certain instruments and nuances that you never heard before even if you're really familiar with the songs but at the same time there's some little bits you're expecting to hear from memory or being familiar with the standard releases and it's missing it's maybe a little buried or not as prominent funny how that works but uh, as I say, I'll get in more into that in depth later on. And now all I can do is just sit here and wait for the six uh, CD deluxe set to arrive. So patience is a virtue.